Like the way we say, people are different, companies are different, and businesses are different. Same way is the journey of branding is different from one individual to the other. It's different from you, different from me, and different from someone else. This is Christine on Immaculate Show. Thanks for being on this channel once again. Let's move together and see the factors, matrices that makes one's brand be reputable online. Sell yourself on social media. It sounds funny, but it's true. Gone are the days where people used to hide their identity while building brands online. Those are the days where people used to fear being talked about, used to fear being insulted, and many more. Remember, your happiness is free. Your development is free. Social media is free. So don't be discouraged of the insults and what other people are going to say. Social media is one of the platforms that now one cannot avoid while building a brand, both online and physical. You cannot praise everybody and you cannot serve every person on social media. Out of the 50 people that are watching you that are buying your product for the first time, I'm sure 30 will come back, will be appreciating exactly what you're giving them and those are the people you should never discourage. Don't be discouraged. Social media is here to stay. Are you funny? If you're on social media, try to be funny. Don't change to be another person. Are you direct? If you're on social media, be direct. Are you a tomato? Remain being a tomato. Don't turn to be cassava. Don't forget with social media, people are there to detect what is not right and what is fraud. On social media, fraud will be in your personality and what you're giving. Be true and be yourself. Remember being true is very free and it is rewarding. Be mindful of trends. Some people may call it culture vulture. However, for somebody that has a seed of an entrepreneur in him or her, will know this is one of the best strategies that one can use to have a reputable brand online. I'm not saying that you should mislead your customers, you should lie your potential followers. No, I'm saying you should fit what you're selling into what is being sold. How do you do this? You can do it by search engines. You can do it by tagging. There are very many ways you can do this. Always be active. Always be present and always engage your audience. This is where now the active team and the vision of duties comes in. What do we mean by the active team? The active team means there is a team in building an online brand or reputable brand that you are interested in. We talk about community managers, we talk about the publishers, we talk about everybody that is in the back end and is also on the content there is a team that you need to have for you to really have the engagement case put your brand across all social media platforms don't pick any platform that mine is going to be facebook it's going to be our own website it's going to be by email twitter or youtube i tell you this every social media platform has its own potential in a different way every social media platform have a follower of your content every social media platform has a client of your product don't specify exactly or pinpoint that you're going to use this social media platform and you leave out the other every social media platform has a client has a follower and has a fan Research and study about your product, about your niche. Once you have pinned down the road where you're coming from and where you're going, it will be easy for you to hit the road. It will be easy for you to plan ahead. Luckily enough, we have various people who have been successful in that product you're planning to trade or you're trading in that niche you really own that it has to work online. We can learn from this successful people that have been in the market already understand your targeted audience it's the hardest truth of life that one can never please everybody you cannot reach everyone and you cannot be a queen of every game sort out your audience first whom exactly
exactly do you want to reach? How do you want to engage your audience? And why do you want the audience to choose you over your competitors? How do you understand your audience? You will understand your audience by talking to people. You will understand your audience by pressing yourself into your audience. Today, if you're the one watching yourself giving some presentation, would you take it? You would understand your audience by being nosy. Sometimes you have to go extra mile to your competitors and see what are their problems, what are they dealing in, and exactly what makes them be what they are. That's when you understand your audience. Producing high quality content. This is one of inbound methodology in marketing that each one of our entrepreneurs should never forget to apply and follow while building a brand online. This can be in form of podcast, it can be in form of website, ebooks, blogs, and many more. This helps our consumers online at least to have educational value from us. Don't forget, the moment they benefit from us, we also benefit from them. The websites will have traffic and our blogs will be viewed every time. Develop and use an email list while building your reputable brand online. An email list is very much important because email marketing connects you with most of your customers compared to other social media platforms. Let's see, if you ever post one post on your social media platform, say Facebook, and at the same time, you send it different emails to your customers, for sure, the one you send through emails will be viewed six times the one you put on social media platform. Also, if we ever send customers direct messages in form of emails, you will create new friends as in new customers, new followers, and new clients. Unlikely when you put posts on social media platforms. So I encourage you, wherever you are and you're building your brand online, don't forget this marketing strategy of emails.